When I got out of high school, I joined the Naval Reserve and then uh, headed for Hawaii in 1941. And uh, anyone that was in the Navy wanted to get the Pearl at that time because that was uh, the best spot to be in, we thought. I thought, boy, if I could make a career here, it'd be great. But um, it so happened that uh, December 5th, we got a new skipper aboard, and he was just a young lieutenant who uh, just came back from China and never had command of a ship. And uh, 7th of December at 3.30 in the morning, we got general quarters, and we thought, God almighty, is this skipper, new skipper, now he's just training us on a Sunday morning at uh, 6.30. They said they had sighted a periscope of a submarine in restricted area. So we looked around, and all of a sudden, we see the conning tower come up out of the water. It was one of those Japanese two-man subs, 68 feet long and, and five feet in diameter, two men in it. And we were only about 50 yards from it when it came up, and the skipper had ordered guns loaded, ready to fire. The shell hit, and when it hit, the sub rolled over, Headquarters actually didn't get the word, and well, the skipper radioed in. That was an hour and 15 minutes before the planes ever came over. When the planes came over, we were patrolling back and forth, and we saw them over at Pearl. Well, then all of a sudden, two of them come over on us. They straddled us one on each side and dropped, dropped bombs. And they were so low, you could see that they were Japanese and you saw the red ball on it. And we thought, oh my God, they're bombing us. But then about one o'clock in the afternoon, we had run out of depth charges and we needed more ammunition. So we went into the ammunition depot, got in there, we saw the damage that had been done. Thank God we weren't in there because we would have been tied up and uh, they would have bombed us too.